As of November 20th, 2022, there are 47 volcanoes which are actively erupting across seven continents. In the last week, several volcanoes produced new eruptions while others had their alert levels raised due to signs of unrest. Here are this week's major volcano-related news stories. On the border of Chile and Argentina, a new explosive eruption began from the Copahue volcano, scattering a large amount of ash to the east. Meanwhile, in the U.S. northern Mariana Islands, a submarine volcanic eruption was discovered to be most likely ongoing due to various sensor readings leading to discolored water in their region. And in the nation of Vanuatu, the Emberm volcano is once again showing signs of unrest via a likely fresh intrusion of magma within the volcano's caldera. For context, the Amber Volcano encompasses the entire island which it is on, and just like volcanoes on Hawaii's Big Island, it is a type of shield volcano due to its overall gentle slopes and broad profile. However, like the Imaikuzi Volcano in the nation of Chad, Amrum is no ordinary shield volcano as it is not primarily built by effusive eruptions. Instead, it is a rare type of volcano known as a pyroclastic shield, where large volume explosive eruptions with broad but low plenian eruption columns scatter ash over a wide area, creating a shield profile. The most recent large-scale explosive eruption to originate from Ambrim occurred around 20 CE, when an eruption which was at least 20 times larger than the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens occurred. This eruption not only wiped out the majority of life on the island, but also created a 12.3 kilometer or 7.6 mile wide depression in the ground known as a caldera. Post caldera eruptions have been only moderately explosive, building abundant vents, the last of which occurred in January of 2022. Well, as of earlier this week, satellite sensors detected ground deformation totaling as much as 8 centimeters in the past month in the eastern section of the caldera. This is quite worrying for the following reason. When Imbrim erupted in 2018, it created a series of cracks and fissures across the eastern rift zone, uplifting areas by as much as a meter or three feet, even right through buildings. These areas now represent weak points where the next flank eruption could occur, and as a result, the local volcano agency designated a 500 meter exclusion zone around each of these vents. The worry is that since there is likely a fresh magma intrusion present in the eastern section of the caldera, it would not take much for this material to start propagating eastwards and erupting where several settlements are located. Luckily, no signs of this occurring have yet been detected, but the distinct possibility that it does occur remains. Of course, a similar episode of uplift slightly further north of the ongoing uplift occurred in June of this year, and that did not result in a new eruption. Meanwhile, on the border of Chile and Argentina, a new explosive eruption occurred at the Copihu volcano on November 16th, sending a plume of ash into the air. Satellites subsequently detected heat signatures from the volcano, indicating a magmatic component. The ash from the eruption drifted largely to the east-southeast, coating several areas including an airport with a layer of finely grained volcanic particles. This new eruption has the potential to affect towns on both sides of the border, and could continue for anywhere between a few more hours to a few more months. In the northern Mariana Islands, the U.S. Geological Survey had for about a month been tracking hydroacoustic signals originating from around the Farallon de Pajaros volcano. These signals were consistent with a volcanic eruption, which became mostly confirmed on November 6th, when satellite imagery showed discolored water originating from the shallow submarine volcano known as Ayi to the south. However, due to a lack of sensors, it is unclear where in the volcano the ongoing eruption is occurring, as it could be centered anywhere from 449 feet below sea level at Ayi summit to the sea floor at 9,800 feet depth. Here is a quick list of every volcano which is currently erupting. Also, here are some volcanoes showing signs of unrest which are not erupting but could erupt in the near future. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, if you wish to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on this channel's Patreon page.